Here are a few tricks for getting complex envelopes out of the 2013 mass. As always, we'll start simple. Here's channel 4 cycling. We're looking at the unity output, uh, linear response. Of course, we can change the curve with, curve with the response knob. And we can set the length of rise and fall independently with their knobs. Take an offset from channel 3 to demonstrate voltage control over rise and fall. Pretty much the same effect as just turning their own knobs. Here's where it starts to get interesting. Channel 4's main out is independent in strength and polarity from the unity out. If we patch it into the fall parameter, It falls slower the higher the output, making the curve hyper logarithmic on the fall side. And as we turn it down into the negative range, it actually reverses the curve, giving us lo linear rise or logarithmic if we want, and exponential fall. We can do the same thing to the rise portion. Now let's run channel 1 at the same speed. We'll trigger it with the end of cycle out. We'll send its output into fall. get some different shapes since it's a different length from the channel 4 cycle. And depending on when it re-triggers, we can get odd shapes alternating with more regular ones. Using the gate output of one channel to engage cycling on the other gives us some interesting shapes at the OR output. It works best when the channel being cycled, in this case channel 1, is set to shorter times than the other. Combining this with the curve response trick can give us even more possibilities. In this case we do have to run the modul modulator's unity output through channel 2 or 3 to avoid having it removed from the OR bus. Here are channel 1 and 4 both cycling and both modulating each other's rise and fall times via the both inputs at different uh, amounts and directions. When they're close to the same frequency you can see some beating effects that are produced in terms of the shape of the envelope. Of course, we get different stuff going on with the OR output. You can also get good results by just summing two cycles and messing with polarities. 